Hey, so Lord73 from GameAnyone.com. Uh, we're just continuing with Dragon Age on the PS3. Um, just uh, quickly level up. on the strength I think. One health. Um, what shall we go for? We'll go for the for the lock picking. Close that one. Right, so we're now we're at Ostagar, which is where all the Grey Wardens are gathering. So we'll uh, just go for a little explore. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Indeed. We got here. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. I'll throw in some shapes. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Pleased to meet you. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Not a lot. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Yes, what is the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. Cool. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Alright, let's see what else we've got. You will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, he shall not find you wanting. Yeah, talking about religion, that's boring. Hello, Maceman's having a wall. There's Duncan, we don't need to talk to him just now. Right over this way. It's good to have grey wardens amongst us. With their elves, to say. You there, elf. What's your name? Oh, uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turnlow Gain that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. Right, right away, sir. What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the town, I hope. Nope. If you're not from the town, what do you want? We're busy. <laughs> He's up. Yeah, I'll leave him to his business. There is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. No time for chit chat. Um, so the camel master has. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. No, he doesn't want to chat. Anything up this way? 
name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's You may not want to remain so here me. long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the dark storm blood. Scroll. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Yes, why not? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Yeah, I don't think that'll do much good. Is he a, somebody in a bird cage? Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me? Nope. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you? All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Yeah, what are you in there for? I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you gonna think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. Yes, why would I want to help? Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. Tempting. Tempting. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. You got some dinner? Lucky dog. You Grey Wardens get to ride with the King while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Sounds good. They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that, or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the Darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. At any rate, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. Yeah, well, if he doesn't give me this key... I'll come and hang him myself. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Let's Much obliged. Let's try it then, I May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Yeah, so where's the chest? I guess it's over this way. With a nice big arrow pointing straight to it. That course of action is inadvisable. Welcome to this guy. Man. I am one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. 
But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Yes, well, I just speak strangely. Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Are they? It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. Ah. You might feel differently were you a mage. True. Of course. What may I assist you with? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price as we know only too well. Goodbye. Goodbye. God, he is boring. That course of action is inadvisable. That course of action is inadvisable. Oh, piss off, won't open the chest. I'll come back later. I'm expecting to win. Have we got anybody else of interest? You approach the tent of Town Logain. State your business. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly, he and the King have been arguing for days. The Town's known the King since he was swaddled. So they don't stand on ceremony. The town speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Very well. I don't want to talk to him, because he's an asshole. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Logain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? I have my that's doubts. That's feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. The King thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the Queen. She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. Mm, interesting. Not. That's the way I came up, so there's nothing down there. We'll have to 
about the best way. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spawn. They're strong and cunning and smart. Got a chest, can we open this? We can. Let's have some cash. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these darkspawn back underground. Okay, I want to talk. Who's this? Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? You want to talk to me? I I'm not in trouble, am I? Uh, yeah, let's wind him up. Then what is... Oh, wait! Are you the one I'm supposed to give Sir Garland's sword to? Because I think the smith's done with it. Sounds good. Oh, that's such a relief. You really saved me from the switch for sure. I'd best get back to my duties again before I get in more trouble. Ah, it's okay. Good to me, thank you. Bless it up. I have to wander the drifting roads of the bay. There's nothing more down this way. The last dancing path is exactly. There were lots of dogs spawned, different kinds. We're getting reports of things. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk. Really spitting for these, I think. Now, you're one of Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Korkari Wilds until he gives the word. The Korkari Wilds is a dangerous place, more so now that it crawls with Darkspawn. They say the Great Blight began deep within its forests. One of our scouting patrols has been gone for three days. We're taking bets on who got them first, the Darkspawn or the Witches of the Wilds. Oh, sure. There's an old legend in these parts about Flemeth, the apostate sorceress who conquered this area centuries ago. She united the chasing barbarians and invaded the farmlands. That's when the great hero, Cormac, destroyed her army with his. Took her head right off, so they say. Their daughters survived and became the Witches of the Wild. Tales tell of them plaguing this area since, mostly superstitions, stealing babies and spoiling milk. Only when it's dark and the wind is bad. No doubt those patrols met some darkspawn. That's enough for anyone to worry about. At any rate, that's why Duncan doesn't want you wandering out without his say-so. Okay, fair enough. running about young woman red hair carrying a suit of chain no blast it where did she go that suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up oh, pardon my manners my troubles are no concern of yours I'm sure oh, I'm the quartermaster did you come for supplies yeah I reckon see what you've got um... let me know what you'd like Well, I've got hardly got any cash, so let's see if we can get rid of some of this crap. We don't want these. Try your rings, get rid of those. Grease tap, don't want that. Get rid of those for now. I'll get rid of the stones. Um, I could do with another ten silvers to buy that from somewhere. Let's get rid of these. We can manage with what we've got for now. 
say the backpack because you soon run out of space so every backpack that you see for sale you need to buy that'll do for now the tranquil still there is a pain what's over this way there's another chest it is over the boots. I'm they don't want to talk. Let's go and speak to Alistair. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Maid. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. Yes, yeah, sorry, what? Uh, no, you're a very strange man. You're not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Do I look like a mage? And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Uh, have you? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage, the circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Yes, that would be. I'm awkward. sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently, they didn't get the same speech. <laughs> Dabith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Nope. Keep an eye out. Maybe we'll see one of them. Yeah, if you have Let's any go. questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Okay, Alistair. Ooh, Finished. runes, nice. Can't use those runes yet. I need some special weapons to equip them. And somebody that can do enchantments. But I'll keep hold of them just for now. Tranquil's still there. Make his way over to Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then. 
Since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. And the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Which silly sod left those behind? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay. So we're heading off into the wilds. Hey. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. <laughs> 